Well, joining me now is Irene Phillips, who is a qualified osteopath. But Irene uses a very different form of osteopathy to the tra traditional methods shown in the footage that we've just seen. Irene, I think, uh, first of all, we better draw our attention to what's next to you, the power-assisted micro-manipulator. <laughs> or PAM for short. Shall we know? We'll, we'll talk about her as PAM, I think. Yes, today. it's easier. What exactly is she? Well, basically, it's a tool that becomes an extension of my hands that gives me a set of bionic fingers. So although, um, as in osteopathy, I'm still trying to move the joints, I'm trying to use science and technology to actually really change the spine. Not only can I move the joints, I can actually restore supple elasticity to it by a series of modes here. So in addition to actually using your hands, this is, this is basically an extension of your fingers, isn't it? It is. I still will use my hands, obviously, to palpate the patient. I will still do the standard osteopathic um, diagnosis mm -hmm. to find out what's wrong with the patient, also a case history. But um, once I work on the spine, um, I use the, the fingers of Pam, which also give me feedback through my hands mm -hmm. to show me how supple the joints are. I think what I like uh, from what I've heard about this is that it actually can bring back the elasticity, like you're saying, which is something that most people just don't expect. If they're diagnosed with something, they think they're going to have to put up with it for the rest of their lives. That's right. Yes. So how many sessions would somebody need on well, average? If on average, it takes about three to five treatments. Obviously, it will only deal with mechanical problems. Sometimes um, back pain can be caused by other illnesses, such yes. as kidney problems. Once we've eliminated that, as long as it's mechanical, we can treat it. The equipment is also quite safe to use with osteoporosis as well, where mm. a normal manipulation could be quite dangerous. Is back pain a really big problem in this country? I mean, I know a lot of people that have it. The statistics are really degrees. high, according to the um, Back Care Association. Yeah. I mean, it costs the country millions um, each year in man days lost. Yeah. Um, but it is possible um, to actually um, get people back to work quicker following things like um, whiplash injuries yeah. or just traditional um, back pain, um, even in the worst stage, prolapse disc. I have had patients who've cancelled surgery because you can actually treat the spine much more efficiently than you can just with your hands. Well, it all sounds very encouraging to me. Let's have a look at the actual thing itself because <laughs> it has three modes, doesn't it? It does. Three different modes. Right, okay. The first one, um, because we're trying to stimulate all the nerves, but the first one starts and ends each treatment, but it moves so fast it actually realigns the spine. So I'll just put this on here. So what is this mode actually achieving? Trying to relax any muscle spasm. Right. Often um, people notice when they've got back pain, the um, body goes into a protective Which is, response. Yes. 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 So it's trying to artificially stimulate all the reflexes so quickly and randomly mm. that um, it should relax the muscles. So again, you don't necessarily have to do lots of massage techniques or soft tissue work to, to actually get to that stage. So you'd always start with that one, wouldn't yeah. you? Okay. So let's let's go back down to our, our friend here, who's very kindly being our guinea pig for the day. And can we go to mode two on the right. actual machine? Okay. This is the reflex mode. Basically, like a lot of patella hammers. If you were to hit your knee with a patella hammer, yes. the knee would extend. So it's trying to do the same thing to the muscles either side of the spine. I see. Again, um, working in sort of um, a way that I couldn't possibly do with my hand. Yourself. Okay. I mean, again, can this be used on everybody? I mean, we're talking uh, varying degrees of, of back pain, as we've said. So it can be anything from the occasional sort of pain in the lower back through to scoliosis and whiplash yeah, um, and I've treated, very major um, things. Idiopathic um, uh, scoliosis, sometimes up to 70 degrees. You can usually reduce the curvature of the spine. Mm. Um, again, it's because if you're uh, stimulating the reflexes, because it's realigning, um, it does actually change the spine. And sometimes if you had a very twisted spine in front of you, it would actually change shape. Really? So it, uh, we've actually got quite a healthy spine here today. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear Obviously. that? <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually see somebody that, that, that has a, a very, mm -hmm. very sort of um, bad upper back, yes. for example, going into the neck, which is known as scoliosis. Is that um, right? You can, 
Well, the trachea is a sort of um, a sort of net S-shaped curve in mm. the back. Um, sometimes, obviously, it can, can be quite dangerous because it can affect other organs too mm -hmm. if it puts pressure on the heart or lungs. I see. So, um, basically, this sort of treatment should also be preventative because, really, if you started at an early age, mm. you could actually avoid back pain um, because you would keep the spine very supple. Can we look at the third mode now, okay. which is the final this mode? The mobilised one. This is the one that does all the work because it's really moving the joints in counter rotation each vertebra. Again, I couldn't possibly do that with my hand. And again, I can change the forces and um, the speed. I can make it a little faster or I can make it a, a little slower. So again, if you wanted to concentrate on an area, you basically, could. this is not always the most comfortable one, but it's the one that does all the work because we're really going to walk up the spine. This <laughs> is concentration. There does the area look like you're pushing. Uh, looks like you're pushing down quite hard, there, Irene. Is that yeah. right? Obviously, if someone had osteoporosis, I would be very gentle. Yes, with them. Yes. Okay. Now, how widely available is this? Because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be quite uh, interested right. from watching this. I think this. there are about 200 units, 180 of them are in this country. A lot of them have actually gone overseas. Really? Some of them are in the armed forces with football teams because not only does it sort of help with back pain, it mm -hmm. also keeps you fit so you would actually be a better sports person too mm -hmm. because it would make you more, more supple. I mean, the principle behind it is that it, um, the spine should be supple like a teenager's then you wouldn't have any problems. And this tries to restore that elasticity. Yes. So um, some of my patients have you know, come along and they can be as old as in their 90s. But well, I do that's very oh. encouraging. Very um. encouraging indeed. Thank you, Irene, very much. Okay. It's been fascinating. Thank you.